Wait, is he actually Sumail's playing support? Yeah, this isn't a core like ogre it. then. It's a support ogre. It's oh universe my. farming. I, but I think the idea, everyone. the idea for EG here is that you see universe starts with a talon and, and tangos. So if they yeah. get the opportunity to do it, they're gonna lane some mail and jungle a universe early if they see a chance to do it. But are we gonna have an early <laughs> gank on Arteezy? Thanks to his brother Kuroki, who is left, who is right, doesn't matter because Arteezy is first. Well, that is really easy going the way of Liquid. A very good start. It's also bottom lane in the meantime, mind control getting pushed completely out of lane. Chilling touch just dealing ridiculous damage. Yeah, the fun thing is, I was going to say, if you think about what you generally, t when we talk about Samael as a mid laner, we say he's super aggressive. I feel like on the support role it's the same. He's just running at, you saw him running in mid, just going onto the bristle and yeah. now going onto the ledge. He's not afraid to throw his life away for a kill, so... It's a lot more forgiving on a support role to play like that than it is on a core. Ooh. PPD bottom. spots out the smoke, bottom Death lane, damage. Fear gets off his magnetic field, Fata is just gonna chase him, and Fear looks to be dead one way or another. Samael's here for backup, one more right click will finish off Fear, indeed it does. <laughs> and I don't know if they want to die this any further. Abaddon is level 6 though. Oh, PPD and Sumail have absolutely go. no mana, there's 4 heroes here for Liquid, as Sumail going to take the brunt amount of damage here, and PPD gets his TP cancelled at the last moment. So the Liquid looking really nice here, so hopefully there's some comeback mechanics for, for this Arc Warden, which obviously there are since you can complete free farm now. Yeah, I wonder what EG's read on the whole situation is, if they're like... They're obviously not happy being down 9-2, and two, but I, I think their game plan so far is progressing all right. It can get very scary now if, if Liquid get to take the mid-tier 1, and especially if they get at one of the tier 2s, but... It's still, it's still a pretty even game in my opinion. Oh, we have one left dagger reveal from. Yep, here we go. Master. He's nice gonna go Jerry. Arteezy pops his old Fata, taking a lot of damage thanks to the poison move. He's gonna clean up Arteezy though. Looks to be a trade of sorts as Silencer will fall as well. So it's a one for one. And you're right, mind control is just keeping Fata alive. Not that he really needs it because that burst black passive, but still, all the damage over time is really annoying. Oh, nice the universe stun. takes the splitter to the face and drops to the deck. So. Again for Liquid. Yeah, this is very good for Liquid. They, it's not just that they get a two for one, but that was a brew split, and that's a really big cooldown. Necro book, and then into what we talked about. Generally, you see Wraith Fear, Mask of Madness, and of course the BKB, which for reasons is always right. the same duration on the clone as on the main. So if the main doesn't the use it, as you have well, since you want to push yep. and get a little bit of tankiness as well. Mid lane, Fata taking a cold feet. Doesn't look like it's gonna proc. You could be forced out. Oh, that's fissure a good block, fissure. though. Kuroki has eight intelligence stolen, by the way, as the four silencer. That's definitely what you want to see if you're liquid. And PPD stuck between a rock and a hard place. Global silence has popped. PPD's gonna get healed up thanks to the mech, and Kuroki's the one that gets destroyed in the end. Mind control stuck in the trees as well, behind Sumail. And PPD, who's somehow still alive, and Arkwarn just destroying Fata. Can't any damage inside that magnetic field. And they're going to clean up Fanta in the meantime, so a two for one, really good trade for EG, as Mind Control still stuck in the exact same spot as before. And my goodness, double kill for Fear. He's all fallen. Oh, I'm just, I'm just getting, like, flashbacks to so many pubs right now. And then I feel that, no, it's, it's Fear playing it, and he has a team playing around it that understand how it works. Yeah. That's some scary shit right there. I've been pretty disgusted oh, with the hero for us. Kuroki! Yeah. Bye bye, friend. Took a chance to try to get a ward out. Um, what? The AFK? What happened there? Cast for Plague Wards a little bit longer, but yeah. Know how then, that is. Did you mention the spell damage? Uh, Eight percent obviously... extra yeah. damage to everything. It's something. That's true. That's true. It is something. Thanks for the. Oh, Universe pops the primal split. They're gonna cost that Fata. He has the Fata shield applied. Though mind control. Look at how little mana he has in the beginning of this fight. That is just rough. He's gonna get one more Fata shield off on Bristleback. But one way or another, the Abaddon will die. Bouncer has the global ult. Will use it now. And Fata actually might just run away from this. How's my control, control not dead yet? Okay, Thank you, Mother Effer. Here comes Jerex. Has enough mana for his Echo Slam, but just has to walk up and do it, but ugh, it's gonna be a dirty one. It's gonna be on one hero, if, if anything. Universe taking the Enchant Totem and the right clicks from Bristleback. They're gonna 2v1 Universe. Four, four stacks of goo on top of him. And meanwhile, it's two for one overall. And Universe, you're not getting out of here, buddy. 
Meanwhile, in Arc Warden land. Oh, hi, Arc Warden. Nice to see you. Do you have boots of travel yet? He yep. does. Yeah. Torn apart by the Necro books and the MKB so they can hit in the magnetic field. Um, Alright, we have a Roche attempt. Sure, to see. AA ult is available to use if they have a little oh. spidey senses tingling here, and they are. Here's coming in oh, as well. Miss completely. That's his ult. Not gonna do a whole lot of damage, at least not at the start. His spot is gonna apply the pressure to TPD. He's gonna get stunned immediately though by Sumail in, into an ignite. Here in the meantime, continuing the pressure with that primal split of universe chasing down for Matumba Man. He's gonna use himself. Actually, that was probably from the Earth Panda. No, it was his own. Matumba Man might actually get away. Dodge stone toss. Very nice play. This fight is super split up. Kuroki, Fodak shielded. Universe is going to run away. In the meantime, Fodak is just getting completely... Look at this big oh. Gecko Slam from Jerax. Immediate mech from Arteezy keeping people alive. But Bristleback died all the while. Unfortunately for Liquid, could not save their comrade. As PPD being kept alive as well. Mind Control in the meantime gets his ult off. Trying to take down Fear. But again, completely surrounded by EG members. And will all likely drop to the deck as well. So three dead in that engagement. And Roche. They might be able to claim Roche themselves. Does anybody else have one? Yeah, Bristleback as well. That's another 10 seconds, so that's going to yeah. help quite a bit. Radiant's it's the right itemization. I think it's their Dyer's only chance. It's already gone to that attack. point where 30 minutes are. Alright, Fata getting initiated on. Colty might actually Dyer's proc with all these slows from Arteezy on Venomancer. That's right, I said Arteezy on Venomancer. Global silences pop fear with his illusion just beating into a Matumba man. Will barely live through the day again. He's just gonna take top racks by himself. Kuroki in the meantime takes primal split into an AL. Bye bye, Kuroki. No buyback for you. Melee Rax is dead for EG. Top lane. Fata caught amidst all these brood broodlings. He pops his BKB, attempting to do a little bit of damage. Artiz is gonna attempt to TP out himself. Fissure will block. Cancel that and Splitter finishes him off. So they at least get one kill, but it cost them their racks. Multicast onto Fata Sumail. Trying to sacrifice his life will four staff away with the help of PPD, but yeah, again, the sacrifice is well worth it. I'm just, is this going like, to be uh, Admiral Bulldog's favorite hero when it's out and see him? It's going to be nerfed before it comes out and see him. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. There's just no way. Yeah. The glyph oh. lasts for five seconds and the clone lasts for 20, so if you time it well, you can save both. Oh. Hey, oh. Fear, popping that BKB, gonna backdoor that Ranger X. No problem, bro. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, any Midas is just to add insult Yellow to injury. Ice, bro, you wanna puff, puff a bit? <laughs> there are actually some games, if you play pubs with Arc Wardens who are that bad at the hero, yeah. they're a detriment to your team. They just keep porting in at random places and spawning books, and you just farm them late game with your Ember Spirit. <laughs> I think I had a game with an Arc Warden on my team who gave the Ember Spirit of the opponent Team more than 3,000 golds in Necro books. Lol. And he obviously doesn't take damage when he's just like fist. <laughs> Matumba Man pops the BKB, Split so, Earth on oh, top of the good creep split. that Fear was TPing to, and now they're going to apply the pressure to PPD, and perhaps Sumail. Fissure is there. He's just going to force steps away. And actually, Matumba Man's stuck on the other side. Oh, he's going to take a good blast. There's the Echo Slam on two. These are two supports. They're going to find him one way or another. Matumba will live too. The shield is very good against the Here comes Universe. Has the blank Thunderclap into Primal Split. Gonna focus his efforts on top of Kuroki. Takes the split. It's and a near distraction for the Fear. Get out of the Yules, actually. Very All right, done. that's a in lot the of magnetic fields, man. Are we, we, oh, we're watching mid now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to keep track of this action. This Matumba Man just stuck in the trees again against this primal split. Universe pops out into his normal form. He's just creating space. As Arc Warden was pushing mid to his heart's content. Universe in the meantime, still stuck within three. RTZ with the ult. Can they actually get this? Universe critting. He gets one kill. RTZ very low. Mind Control already popped his ult. Jerax getting healed up. Arteezy, he's gonna kill Mind Control! He dies in the fountain and he gets two! Oh my god! Yeah, that 8% damage from Aetherlands might have actually made a difference. <laughs> That's true. It's gotta feel good. So Mail's the type of guy, he Dyer's loves playing these heroes though, so I don't think he minds at all. He's been playing a lot of Timber Saw off lane, I've seen him play Axe in the past. His, his hero pool is quite diverse. Yeah, bot lane fear. Yep, that's Tempest Double, BKB, with that Sacred Yo, Relic Kuro. on top of the Rapier, and... Oh, he's gonna kill Kuroki, no problem. Okay, good. Get the range out. Oh boy, here we go. And PPD almost done with Axe. Aye, aye, aye. There it is. Alright. I think it's between selling Midas to Mask of Madness, or...
getting I don't know what I mean, else. You Hex. Don't, I don't think you sell it until you use it a few more times. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just replace it on. You'd like swap it back and forth. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Um, okay. Porting top. Uh, we got a TP. They're trying to take out the Ranger Axe, but or not the Ranger Axe. The Ranger Creep. Mind control. Hi. That's Arc Warden. That's correct. As Arteezy is going to help oh, take out. Good oh, good deny. Yeah, deny himself with the Bloodstone. He'll be back soon enough here in the meantime. That's not the real guy. It never is. It never is, friends. Arteezy drops to the deck. EG doesn't really get anything out of that. They get the denied last track, I suppose. I'm not sure what they're doing. Okay, never mind. The Necro kills. Oh, I feel it's so just, bad for my control right now. It looked like EG are just having a really good time. It's, it's literally Arteezy and Fear against five in the enemy base. The other heroes didn't even join. And they're kiting for so hard right, right now. Looks like it's business now. And that's a buyback on Arteezy, by the way. Primal split it pops. Fata pops the BKB himself. Will attempt to run away. They're going to take out the Fiery Panda. Pretty much no problem. And here comes Arteezy. Blink, ult with the Veil. On cooldown for another 8 seconds action. With Tumba Man stuck in the midst of things. Cold speed applied. Multicast. Bye bye, Matumba Man. You are dead for a long ass time, good sir. That's 3 dead for Liquid. And this should be GG for EG. As the racks just fall. The right clicks of fear. Radiant's bottom Please. Oh my, disgusting. Ugh. I think it's healthy that we get to see it in one competitive game, just because this is like, you know, you can't judge it from only one game, but <laughs> yay! That's not how you spell arc. Competitive. But well, everything wrong. Let's not get it. Yeah, it's classic slice. Yeah, in case you were wondering if arc is actually OP, well, maybe this will answer it for you. Small sample size, but. The hero definitely showed its strengths in this game, yeah. and you know, you can't always judge from pubs, but just seeing this one competitive game kind of confirms all my worst fears about this hero. <laughs>